See you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless. Peace out. Son of a mother lover brick. All right, guys, my mic was off that whole time. This always happens. But yo, like I said, it says, "For as he thinketh in, or for as he thinks in his heart, so is he." That's King James version. That's why it says thinketh. <laughs> Um, so it's pretty much saying how you think in your heart. I know your brain's up here, but your heart's down here. The way your heart expresses through life, the way you portray yourself is who you are, you know? And so you think with your heart. If you think with your head, things can get kind of jacked up. But I was walking outside. That's why my mic turned off. Beautiful day out here in Phoenix, Arizona, as always. Great day has gone. It's going great for sure. It's about to be 6 o'clock. Sun's still up, so that's a good sign. Chandler finished a video for the Even Brothers channel. This is first, or one of the first videos that he's edited for the channel and shot and uh, writ wrote for the channel. He did it completely. I supported him along the way and it is finished and it's going to be put out. It's actually out right now so I'll leave a link to that in the description. Our video ch videos on the Even Brothers channel usually come out. It goes uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday. That's what our ske shooting schedule or our upload schedule is looking like. We get a lot of work done on that channel now more than ever before because we were just uploading like once a week and sometimes we mess up with that. But that's what's going on right now. Chandler just made some pancakes and I'm gonna finish eating what you guys just seen right there, which is a, I don't know what it is, either Chick-fil-A Deluxe or a Spicy Deluxe. I don't know what it is because they <laughs> they got it wrong anyway, but it's, it's not, I usually eat whatever the heck they give me. I don't care if they mess up my order. I don't care if there's like a hair in my food. I'm still freaking gonna eat it. I'm not the type of person to complain about what I eat because as long as I'm eating, I'm straight. But that's what's going on right now. Hope you guys enjoyed that like little commentary I did yesterday. That was the first time I ever did it. Um, workouts have been getting more intense since we are on a, in a surplus and we're bulking right now, so we're eating a lot more food. That's why I'm always eating now. I'm eating like every single second, seems like, but I'm just getting used to the eating routine again. My stomach's still getting kind of used to like eating a lot, but I feel like my stomach is getting there to where I'm used to it already. But that's what's going on with life in general. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Yo, what's goody everybody? Yo, the last clip that you guys seen was most likely like three hours ago. I don't know why I keep doing this, but for some odd reason, I, I vlog and then I'll stop for a little bit. Mostly on my work days, the days when I have to go to work. The reason I did it today because I worked such a crazy long shift, so it kind of had me off balance on what I planned to do today. So I came home, I edited an intro, got that to someone, hopefully they liked it, I haven't had any word back from them, but I've been just doing a bunch of intro editing for sure. My glasses are dirty. But yeah, I've been doing intro editing a lot lately, and just doing that. I don't know how that came across. I mean, I've just had opportunities to do something and then I made it happen. That's kind of what you got to do with life. Is once an opportunity comes up and it kind of affiliates with the field you're trying to go for, or your career, or your goal in life, when it comes down to it, you got to work towards it. It honestly shows. It helps you pursue what you really want to do and it finds it helps you find out what you you're good at and what you're not good at honestly when you when you take an offer or an opportunity you take an opportunity up and you just ride with it you kind of find out what you're good at and what you're not good at that's kind of what I've been doing lately is just doing a bunch of editing and intro editing and kind of just going through emails and like talking to people networking for sure I've been networking in the last month more than I've ever had in a long time it's a really good thing in the field that I'm going for my goal is to network and that's very important for me to do so I've been doing that a lot lately for sure I'm trying to just talk to bigger heads for sure people who are known and well known and I've got I was able to speak to a few people that are well known for sure, or not well known, but uh, known pretty good in what I do, and it's really good to be able to speak to them and kind of have word back from them for sure. Besides all of that, that's what I've been doing mostly is just a bunch of editing and intros and like a lot of After Effects work. But that stuff's not really that cool to talk about on camera, honestly. But it's really cool to see visuals for sure. That's why I love doing them, and I like to make really good-looking videos. That's for sure. That's mostly what my Even Brothers or the my main channel is mostly about is making videos look as cool as possible with 
the story behind it and everything like that. If you guys aren't subscribed to that, I always tell, tell like try to, uh, to guide people to that channel on this channel. So if you guys are not subscribed, I always leave a link to it in the description box, as so as well as Chandler's channel, channel and Dunate's channel. You can go check all three of those out for sure. But as of right now, I'm about to have me pre-workout snack before we head out to the gym today. We're hitting legs. Leg days can be a drag sometimes, but they feel good. So I think right now I might have either one of these. I don't know about that. For real? Well, yeah, we're probably just end up going to get a pre-workout snack. I'm going with what Chandler says on this one and get like a monster, huh? We don't got a shrink. That's what Chandler's up to right now. It looks like he was sleeping all day as usual, but he actually was doing something today. I got a video done. Or my video. Chandler edited a video for the channel. It's gonna be probably one of the best videos out so far. Tell them what it's about. It's no, already out. This, yeah, it's already out. It's, it's already out. It's about respect. <laughs> the light is bright, man. Give him a breakdown. They just have to watch it. Where is it at? Even Brothers. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> you ain't looking at the camera. <laughs> like, I can, cause it hurt my eyes, man. <laughs> All right. Watch this. <laughs> Oh shoot! <laughs> Dang, you're freaking superhero, dog. All right, tell them what with the breakdown of the the what we're about to do right now. All right, uh, we're about to go to the go to pre-workout snack. Go get some gym. Come back. I don't know. I don't work tomorrow, so I'll probably stay up late. Dang, I work. I have short shift tomorrow, but I'm probably gonna stay up late anyway. I got box. Yo, so to me and Chandler tomorrow we have boxing lessons. Don't uh, show me. I'm changing. Oh, Chandler's changing. Don't look, guys. But as of Right now we're gonna go get a pre-workout snack, probably get a monster in. Monster energy drinks is what we've been sipping on. Ooh, we can, uh, I'm about to give me a fruit punch rockstar. No. Punched. That's the cool thing about surplus, you know? Uh, faded. My vision got blurred. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I'm gonna be expecting packages in the future, so you guys are gonna see un unpackaging videos and some other things like that. So maybe within this next week, I'm gonna get a package from a, I've gotten a package, well, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm going to be getting stuff in the future. I'm going to do unpackages on that. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. Unpackaging. They're packages. Unless they are going to be in a box. And it will be unboxings. But I'm going to be doing that in the future. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up real soon. Maybe at the end of this, by the end of this week. And for sure, maybe. I mean, it's going to be soon for sure. But but that is what is happening in life for really dilly squilly. But nothing much going on. Um, we are going to be making improvements on the apartment real soon. We're going to be trying to get a TV and we're also going to be I think TV is like just the next big step for this apartment for sure and really look forward to that because I love to watch cartoons as you guys know like I love freaking watching regular show in Adventure Time and just like eating and chilling watching that stuff when I have time to chill usually either at night or on an off day or on a day where I'm just exhausted that's what I like to do um, comment down below what your guys' favorite cartoon is. I might check it out, might not, depending on how I feel it and if I've ever seen it before. Um, sometimes I watch a cartoon and I'm just like, what the heck is this? And But I don't know, that's how it was with regular show too. Like, I watched regular show and then I was I was like, what the heck is this? This is weird. And then the same with Adventure Time. It took me a while to get used to it. And then I was like, man, these are my favorite TV shows. But my original favorite TV show is SpongeBob SquarePants. Like, I don't really watch it much now because it kind of just revel... It evolutionized itself so much to where it's kind of hard to follow. That is for sure. Um, the graphics are kind of, I don't know, when a cartoon changes its graphics is when I just like kind of step back and like, what the heck, I don't watch this anymore. Like with, what's that show called? Back to the Bed. Like with um, that one movie, or that one TV show, Jake, is it Jake Long? The American, oh yeah, American Dragon. When they changed the, yeah, he got older, but it's a cartoon. They don't get older really. They changed the graphics though, they didn't change like how he looked. Like Jake Long, the American Dragon, that show was so tight, the original, the original thing because when he, on the new one, when they made the dragon, he wasn't all big and he wasn't aesthetic. They made him all small, like what the heck, he's supposed to be big. And what was that other cartoon? Of course they changed the graphics on uh, Tom and Jerry, they came out with Tom and, yeah, that was kind of dumb, they should have at least tried to stick to the original. They changed the graphics on Scooby-Doo, they changed the graphics on... Uh, Danny, no, no, not Danny Phantom. They just changed graphics on so many TV shows, even regular show. The first step, yeah, like they, I hate when people change stuff when it's there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, some people do try to, true, but 
I don't know, I guess, but I like the OG stuff. I like stuff OG. I love watching, I can literally watch, I can lay down and watch Tom and Jerry all day, every day, the original Tom and Jerry. And I can watch um, regular show all day, every day, Adventure Time all day, every day. Even with Adventure Time, I mean regular show and Adventure Time, they changed the graphics, they made the pilot, and then the graphics after the pilot changed dramatically. And I know that's, I don't know, what the heck am I even talking about? Yo, we're about to go to the gym, I'll see you guys here in a matter of minutes, I went. <laughs> What's up guys, throwing on the fish eye to get this workout in. We're gonna film with the fish eye because it looks precise when we're in the gym. Chandler's uh, got red hair growing on his chin. The red now? Yeah, like different colors. Demons. Can you guys, hold on. That's as close as I can get. So Chandler. Chandler's got red chin hairs. Big ups to Chandler. Yeah, I'll get them too eventually. I gotta keep shaving until I quit Chick-fil-A. Red beard runs in the family. Red beard. You guys are probably hearing that fan. I heard it in the last video, and that's when I noticed I was editing it wrong. But yo, as the gym forever. What is Rain and Storm? This used to be a kind of cool brand. They don't even freaking have it no more. Really? Yeah, they probably do, but it's probably better now for sure. This is an old shirt, guys. Wearing my booty shorts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's get it. We're gonna go to the gym. Everyone's just watching me like I'm doing stage play. Well, I'll see you guys at the gym. We're about to go get a pre-workout snack though, so I'll probably just see you guys there. All right, guys. So you know we had to roll up to the Q. I mean, the, I almost said QT. I'm so used to that in uh, Kansas City. But yo, we just rolled up to the Circle K, the Kmart. The K is the ever better, the ever better, everlasting. I think I'm gonna get either some pre-workout donuts or oh dang, I'm way out of or some of. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get a a monster or a rock star. about to get, man. Some donut? Yeah. I'm getting two donuts. And one of those. Or maybe just that one. Yo, but like I said, dudes, like, I'm pretty sure these come from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not sure, though. How can I... Where do they come from, then? How's it going? Hey, what's with the camera, brother? What's up? What's with the camera? Oh, I vlog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I vlog. I was like, man, you doing a, like, iciness? <laughs> no. 440, dude. Right, Yo, so homeboy was questioning in the cam for sure. About to sit on your donuts, man. I'm gonna go bless homeboy with some change. Oh, this guy right here? Challenge about to go give this homeboy some change. Because uh, sometimes you gotta be a blessing. Look at this. Blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm because I'm not stressing. How do the lyrics look, Dooney? Alright, so, and there I got, like, one of those sugar, uh, they're like a knot, or I don't know what the heck. And then I got the Simpsons donut. And then I'm going to eat this for pre-work. Way work. And then I'm going to drink this, mo uh, not Monster, I got it. What kind of drink? Did you get a Monster? Chow, I got a Monster. I got the Rockstar Punched. Like, the taste on this is so freaking good. It doesn't even taste like an energy drink, but that's oh, what's going on right now. Finesse me. Are you for real? Yeah, so, let's go work out, guys.
This fish eye is doing no justice, but. See if I can get some aesthetic shots. Oh, I got a steroid stomach. I know. Pump was good today, worked out really hard. These, these photos. I know what's in does it? Yeah, workout was good though, that's for sure. Alright, so we just rode up to CVS to get some post-workout snack snack. So that's what's kind of going on right now. But yo, today was a really good workout. Did some really good leg movements for sure. Uh, I back up to three. Oh, that was the first leg that we had with carbon. Yeah, I got back up to 315 on squat today and that was good. Got it for two reps. The second rep was kind of sketchy as you guys seen. I kind of like bounced out of my form on the second rep, but it was still cool. It was a good workout for sure. I'm really digging working out uh, in a surplus because working out is just way more fun because you have so much more energy and you get a workout harder and it's more efficient. I don't know. It just seems way, way better and you see results quicker and I mean, you see results both ways. Strict dieting or strict surplus, which surplus is more e like easier to uh, strict on. You don't really have to be strict. You kind of just eat whatever you want. But yeah, we came in here to get a post snack, but I'm not sure what exactly what I want. Kind of want a water, maybe. Probably get one of these absolutes. Or no, I'm just kidding. But then after the leg workout, I also hit a few chest movements because my chest is lacking and it's lagging for sure. But that's kind of what I hit. Afterwards, to, I really need to grow my chest during the surplus and grow my shoulders. I'm trying, really trying to go for the width, definitely. So that's what's going on for sure. But the surplus is going really good, that's for sure. How's the workout, bro? That's good. <laughs> good workout? Yeah, of course. How's the workout, Dooney? Knuckle pound. Good workout? Alright. Watch this. <laughs> so I can lock. Oh, unlock the door right okay. now. Alright guys, we just rolled up to Walmart because CVS was not doing me and or doing it any justice. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they do. Right over there. Hey, how's it going? So that's what's going on right now. Hold into here. Donate wanted to get some banana because this is, he's making smoothie. Uh, Donate, I mean, uh, CVS didn't supply the. Freaking Donnie Donate. Hey, me. This one. If you guys don't know how to Millie Rock on any block. What are you guys doing? All right, yeah, yeah, but uh, Dunate was gonna get some <laughs> some bananas at the CVS, but they didn't have any there, so that's why he hey, didn't get any there. Uh, All right. Hopefully, don't see my behind the scenes of channel. Central does like nobody does. We're like in the alcohol aisle, guys. We do not drink. Only drink soda. Now nah, I drink soda. See, let's get an update on what Dunate's doing. The central does it like nobody does. Hey, look, nanners. Here's the nanner section. You're not getting a banana? Are you getting a bag for your nanny? Yeah, I'm getting a bag for my bananas. Uh, Dunate getting some pears? I'm getting a bag for my pears. Once you see a pears, you gotta shout out to all them pears, though. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go to the. Alright, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Your homies need you to wait for them. Wait for them, guys. Have you guys ever like danced and you're just killing it and you surprise yourself? Right. Dude, where'd Chandler go? Dude, where's Chan? I do not know. I just saw him right like a minute ago. Oh, there's cookies right here though. Uh, Chan? I don't know. Chan. Are you in this? Chandler! You gotta do the Chandler call. Chan! Chan! Where are you at? Chandler. It's Chandler. We lost you. Where'd you go? <laughs> man, I'm just trying to find me a snack, man. Nah. We lost, dude. What's on you, man? <laughs> Could have swore I seen someone walking behind us. I'm seeing things, man. Oh, I better not get copyright because of this song. Got some dino bites, some milk. Way better when you're in a surplus because you could buy regular milk and not almond milk. Cheaper, better, more ever after and better. Now we lost Dooney, so we're looking for him. Dooney! Oh shoot, I started walking home because I couldn't see to find you guys. Typical Dooney. Where'd he go? We lost him. He's probably right here. Nope. He's like Blackwater. Dooney! 
Dude, Nate. What's that? Watch, he's in here buying some alky. Dang it, I'm slipping. Did he text you or anything? Bain if I should get a gallon. Of some Simply Lemonade. All right, that always happens at Walmart, man. Maybe I should get a Gatorade. You wanna get her? Nah, me neither. All right, so we lost Dunate. That's a life update for sure. So we're gonna get this real quick, head back to the HQ, APT, and we're gonna find Dunate in the process. What are you guys looking to? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. 10.52. All right, can, can we, we do five? Oh, for real? What's her channel? What's her channel? Oh, I have no clue. She doesn't wanna tell us. For real? See, that's yeah, how I was at first. What's, like, what time do you get off in the morning? Like seven? For real? So is it like 11 to seven? A seated dumbbell curls and we are going to 10 to 12 reps with this and I was using the 25 dumbbells 